Hello world, this is Lockpicking Dev. Welcome to part two of showing the custom lockpicks and lockpicking stands I've created. If you have any questions about any of the picks or processes, please put them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Down here in the bottom row, I have my first uh, radio style handles here. This one is a, a mix, as you can see, a wood and acrylic. I have a, an uh, African black wood that comes out nice and black when it's all finished out here. I love these black handles here, so nice and black. And then African bog oak, another black one. This one has more uh, features in the wood. Uh, Madagascar ebony, which, uh, yeah, I'm just kind of making a little collection of black picks and calling them my goth bitches. Uh, I love this curly maple here. Um, after it's finished, it looks really good. This one's finished with, I believe, um, polycrylic. These two are finished with a, a satin. I used um, the rivets on them. And the thing I like about rivets is when you're drying them, you just get like a uh, music wire, put the rivets, you know, put the wire through the rivets and hang them, just let them dry. Uh, so, a handle for a uh, SS Dev High Reach, right there. Oops, sorry about that. Um, a simple handle, just for another, um, I believe this is a Sparrows one. But yeah, just a simple handle for it. And this, for me, is more than enough. This feels great. Uh, even just these basic, simple handles that fit the um, pick perfectly. Uh, this is a custom one I did, half tang. Used a lot bigger pins in this one. You can see it's a little off, which I don't mind, just because this one I'm using. And this one's actually a 25 thousandths and very high reaching. And I actually love this pick. I've started using it a lot more. At the top here, I have a disc turning tool I made out of a 308 shell. Looks really nice. I have combs up here. All of my other combs now, I put popsicle sticks on them like this one. I really liked this handle uh, for the comb at first, and I accidentally put the comb in upside down. So my initial intent was so I can grip it like that, so it just curves over your end of your fingers like that. Your thumb fits right there. You can comb it straight up that way, but as you can see, I put it in upside down. Other combs, some wood I just found, a stick I found, some messing around with brass. This is a decoder tool. I will never put a handle on one again just because it's way too much effort for something that's going to bend and uh, do anything. So popsicle sticks it is from now on, but it was it was worth you know having fun. This is another disc detainer, uh, disc detainer turner. However, you can see, I was buzzed when I glued this, and it's a little off, but it works, so I'll just keep it. A whole bunch of rakes right here. Um, this is the only rake that I really have a shape on, just because <clears throat> you don't really need shapes on rakes. Uh, you just need a nice handle like these over here. Get them a little bit more in the view here. You just need a nice handle like these ones right here. And... It's more than enough. It feels good. And uh, I do advocate for handles on rakes just because it gives you a really good grip and more feel of what you're hitting inside. So these are like laminated ones. These two right here are uh, two different woods that I glued together. You can see the tops of different kind of wood. Both of these. This one right here is just a branch I found out while hiking. Another one. Um, over here we have a combination wood pick from cutting the ends off a lot of pin blanks. I love this one. The profile is my kind of profile too. I really like these kinds. Some more in view here. This one is a mammoth tusk pick. It actually looked a lot better before I soaked it in um, mineral oil, but you soak it in that to preserve it for a long time so it doesn't crack anything. But it actually looked a lot better because this dark end was just, it was kind of more white up here and this dark end was blacked off so it looked like, looked like a tusk. It looked really cool, but it still looks great. Uh, more laminated ones right here. Here's a Medigo pick. Um, it feels great. I like these big blocky handles. Honestly, I advocate for uh, one eighth of an inch um, sides, which turn out to be like this one on the left right here. But I, I really like the one fourth. Like, 
it just feels good. It's, I mean, you think like the people that have trouble holding things, how they get bigger handles. Well, hell, why not just do it with picking too and just make your hands feel great while doing it. I don't do much bigger than this though because it has a hard time fitting in stuff. Uh, this one, curly, curly maple, African bog oak, and CA glue finish. See that shininess on it there and how it really brings out the features there. All the actual curliness in there. It's really cool. You can see it moving. I love that about the CA glue. Um, more just woods. These two right here, I tried doing a Jack Daniels barrel pin blanks. And they come out, the pin blanks themselves, the barrels are burnt. So one side is black. That's all burnt stuff right there. It's all ash. So I tried coating it, um, covering it with uh, epoxy and bush, bushing it off that way. And it didn't quite work. Uh, the one on the left here, I made out of a... Um, windshield wiper blade and it actually works pretty well I've been trying to use it more just to use it instead of using my other nicer ones I'm trying to do that more actually use my picks I really like this one uh, CA glue finish you got a marble on one side African bog oak on the other you can see some of that whiteness there from the CA glue not sticking too well yeah those are nice more see acrylic right here it's a basic acrylic one. I'll throw that down with the other acrylics. Here's a multi sized pen one I did. And it is a half tang. I like these high profiles like this one right here, the offsets here. This one's at 19 thousandths. I actually might make it a little thinner along there. This pick is great. I love these high hooks. This wood looks good. I believe it's an ambrosia. Ambrosia maple. This has been my new favorite pick lately. Got these other just woods over here. I believe it's like, uh, I don't remember what this one is right here on the left. Um, this one right here, I believe, is like a snake wood or a, it's a, some sort of a leopard wood or something. More uh, like a marble one. Another type of wood. I believe this is the ambrosia right here, covered in CA glue. You can see that nice shiny finish on it then over here at the very end we have a another one which I glued on off you can see how it's a little higher <laughs> uh, it looks like a horn instead of a pick but the handle looks gorgeous it looks great and you polish them off nice you can see you can see through them pretty good on some of these acrylics and I love these mixes here so yeah this is just my home pick now down here you have all of my um, metals. So here's the uh, aluminum, another type of aluminum, brass and brass. See I got more of a shine on the top one. This bottom one I was just going to keep anyway. So I didn't really bother getting it too much of a shine. These brass ones. Just playing around with it. Brass feels good, it looks nice. It's hard, as you can see right here, a little bit tarnish on it, so I need to put some protective coating on it or something. Um, they are a little heavy though, but it does feel good. I mean, obviously, great feedback. Here's all of my acrylics. I do like these. Oops, wrong way there. I like acrylics because they, they just shine, they pop, they're, they're very pretty. Um, I don't like them because uh, my hands often sweat, especially when I'm out picking in the elements, you know, on my hikes. So they're a little bit slippery to me sometimes too. So I got a whole bunch of different ones here. I really like this blue one right here. The blue looks really cool. I've been using this one a lot. I've actually had this pick and this pick forever. 25,000 each. I made handles for, uh, I believe, Sparrow's picks. And they've just lasted forever. Here's a, uh, a multi one I did. So the ends of all the pen blanks cut off, glued them all together, and made another pick out of that. A whole bunch of different ones. Another half and half right here on the bottom. The top is actually the first pick, first or second pick I believe I've ever made. It's these two picks that are the first picks I ever made two years ago, and they've lasted. I don't use this profile too much in the top. The bottom profile I use a lot. 
and it's 15 thousandths and it hasn't broke yet and you can see that the handle when I first started doing this I was using five minute epoxy and I warned about this in my pick making videos it didn't last forever and it broke apart so I re-glued it and you can see how it's not quite even on the bottom now but the pick is still great it works and you know I didn't want to throw it away so I just glued it up with some simple epoxy and still using it I wanted to show my lock picking stands that I've made as well the reason being is in my lock picking how to make custom lock picks video I showed the finishes of lock picks and really with these stands that's it's really what's making them look pretty so what you gotta do is find a nice piece of wood like like this one this one just reminds me of Mars it's amazing it's a burl um, I believe it's a fig leaf and all I did was cut it in half because it originally was a block on top of that one so it's just one big block right here I cut it make one side smaller and um, all I did was sand it down really nicely and make sure that these two edges were flat I epoxied them to get together and um, that's before uh, that's after drilling all these holes in them and then I just uh, finished it off a tongue oil and here we are here's the back And the process is really simple, especially, especially if you have a drill press. This is what I was able to do. You just pick out the sizes that you want and test them out. Um, I forget what sizes these are. They might be about a half inch or so. And they have some bigger sizes up here for my bigger handles. And then I put smaller holes down here for all of my tension tools. And there we go. This is my uh, main lock picking stand. Here's the first one I made. I actually made this one by hand. Um, I did not use a drill press for these up here, so there's a little bit more spacing in there. But it's also it's a nice stand. Um, it came curved, actually. You can see that curve in it, so I still did the same thing. This piece is on top of that. Cut it off, made sure that these fit even with sandpaper, then glued them together. And this is my um, dimple pick stand. Another option that you can use is um, this is just a lipstick uh, lipstick holder. It works perfectly fine. Works great. It's really cheap. You can get it on eBay. It holds tons of picks in multiples in the same one if you want. Uh, another one that my first one was this 3D printed one. And this worked really nice, but as you can see, it's really small, too. So, I quickly grew out of this one. One thing I wanted to show you before we go is this roll pouch. You can get one of these on Amazon. It's great. It's perfect. None of my picks fit under this little protective flap right here, so I don't ever really use it. But what I want to show is um, how I mentioned my creating lockpicks video. I don't use handles when I buy pick blanks I always cut an inch off because they're too long this is why because you can see the one in the left right there how it sticks out too far out of this roll pouch and it does that with most holders so this handle is just a little bit too long for me and it just it's a danger to my pick so I always make them about this size which is about four inches or so that concludes my collection of custom lockpicks, lockpicks I've received from other makers, and custom lockpick stands. I hope these videos help create some ideas for other pick makers out there. I'd really love to see some new picks out there. Please post them. Uh, let's see them. Uh, again, if you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.